Well, praise God, my friends. I'm Sean Hextall, and of course, this is The Overflow, your place of empowerment where we rejoice in the truth, and we know that it is our God-given destiny to share with you the living Word of God. I am excited about the position of leadership that you allow us to share with you. The Overflow is literally going across the world, and we are hearing the praise reports. You're connecting with me via seanhextall.org. I'm seeing many of you out in the community, and you are telling me how uh, the overflow is continuously blessing you. Of course, all of the platforms like Facebook and Twitter are available to you, uh, but the greatest thing that you can do to begin to partner with the overflow is just word of mouth. Listen, as this uh, program continues to bless you, as you continue to get the extraordinary feedback and uh, results that it's giving you, the best thing that you can do is begin to share it. It doesn't matter how beautiful something is. If it's hidden, it does, it's ineffective. The Word of God tells us very clearly, do not hide our light under a bushel. And we're so grateful when you share with others how the overflow is blessing you. Our partnership is increasing, but more importantly, we are blessed because we are in the earth today to share the living word of God. And I'm just excited. We're going up and we're never coming down. Listen, today you're in the right place for our limited time together. The Holy Spirit has shared with me to begin to give you strategies that you can actually use as you go into 2017. Uh, for the next few shows, I'm actually going to be delivering to you 2017 how-tos. Let me share that again with you. The Holy Spirit said, Sean, I want you to go on and I want you to share 2017 how-tos. These how-tos are literally going to be intimate strategies that you can use to continue to conquer, win, get victory. Anywhere you go, you are supposed to be the head and not the tail. And, you know, I, the argument about prosperity, uh, that argument is over. Listen, God desires his people to be wealthy and well. He desires us to be wealthy and well and win. In fact, you ought to say that to yourself right now. I am wealthy. I am healthy. And I win. Listen, does it mean that you're not going to experience pressure from the outside? Absolutely not. In fact, as you begin to go for what God has told you to go for in 2017, the enemy is going to raise up standards against you. But I declare for you what the word says, that greater is the grace of God and the love of God in you than the things that lie within the world. Listen, you're going to need these how-to strategies, these things that are going to allow, that are going to come up out of you, I guess, is the way the Holy Spirit wants me to say it. And as you begin to go into situations, many of you are in the school system, you're on uh, jobs uh, that the Holy Spirit has provided for you. Some of you uh, are in your own businesses. Listen, you're even in family situations. The Holy Spirit wants you to win, and these how-to how strategies are going to be available for you to be able to do that. So uh, get your Bible right now. I'm going to do some quick teaching. Um, this is what I'm in the earth realm to do. Uh, I am uh, an expert at teaching and more importantly, delivering to you the word of God. I want to share my gift with you right now. Get your Bible and go with me over to Mark chapter 8. And I want you to look at verse 31. And then you get all the way and go all the way down, I guess, till we'll stop at verse 33. In fact, I'm going to get my word in here. It's going to jump up on camera. Boom, there it is. Uh, the word of God says this. Uh, as we begin to share with you now how to strategies, how to win in 2017. This is the first offering for that series. Here it is, out of the life of Jesus in Mark chapter 8, verses 31 through 33. And he began to teach them. I like that. Strategy was being imparted by the master. He here being Jesus. And Jesus began to teach them. He began to give them organized strategy about a problem that they faced. Listen, in all thy getting, get understanding. There was a great preacher who, who used that uh, a couple of years ago, and I'm absolutely in agreement with that. All of your getting, get understanding. Strategy is important. There are two things uh, that you're going to constantly hear me bring up that you need to win. And we've put some of this in the book Shrewd that you can go online and pre-order. You need strategy and you need story. 
strategy, and story. Jesus constantly gave great strategy as his story unfolded the using of that strategy. And Jesus began to teach them that the Son of Man must suffer many things and be rejected by the elders, chief priests, and scribes, and be killed. Listen, I want to pull over. As you begin to go for what God has told you to go for, don't be surprised. <laughs> it's going to hit the fan. But I want you to be clear about something. That pressure is a reminder that you're headed to your destiny. And I think it's naive to think that you're not going to have problems. One of the things that the Holy Spirit gave me in my maturity is you will rarely hear me talk about a problem. And particularly if I do have to talk about a problem, it won't be very long. I am, by the grace of God, a solution-oriented person. And those of us that win to the full, to the overflow, we share in that as a strategy. We are people who are solution oriented. But don't be naive and don't be surprised when you have problems. Listen, when you, as long as you are in this natural realm, you're going to have problems. Things are going to come up. They're going to be uh, pesky people. Praise God. Uh, even in the jobs that I've served on, it seems to be one of the things that God never delivers you from. It almost seems like he delivers you to it is pesky people. They're everywhere. You got haters. But let me share with you. Start using that as a sign that you're winning. The key to it is don't be one of the haters for somebody else. And he began to teach them and these scribes and these elders had hate. And... Uh, he taught them that this hate was going to come. Now watch this. He spoke this openly. Then Peter, one of the individuals on his strategic team, took him aside and began to rebuke him. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You're helping us right now. Now I want you to watch this because this is today's message. How to handle your vision in the face of naysayers. Mm. Listen. This is powerful here. The Holy Spirit has trusted you to release a vision that is bigger than you. You don't have the resources. You don't have the money. You don't even have the strategic team around you right now. Yet and still, there's some things that you are dreaming that you know that the Holy Spirit wants you to bring to pass. Let me be very clear. That ain't the enemy. The Word of God says that every good and perfect gift comes from above. That's not the enemy. It's Jehovah God talking to you. I declare now in the name of Jesus. That, that vision in you, that God is trusted in you, that you trust that it's from God. Now, don't look at yourself and begin to wonder how it's going to happen. What Peter has done here, he wants natural world outcomes and he looks at Jesus and rebukes Jesus for the great vision on his life. I bind that up now in the name of Jesus. Don't allow yourself or others to talk you out of the greatness that God has for you. Let me pray for you now. Father, I thank you in the name of Jesus uh, that those under the sound of my voice that you have trusted with vision, even now, Father God, they are walking in that vision and they are now partnering through grace with the resources. We bind up fear and anxiety that is propagated by the naysayers in Jesus' name. Uh, glory to God. Hallelujah. I've watched in my own life. If I can pull over here for a second and just have a casual conversation with you before I give you the punchline. I've watched in my own life how I've had to focus on what God has given me and not listen to others. Selah. You got to get so convinced that it's God 
that not even you can stop you. Hallelujah. He rebukes him. Now watch what he does. And this kind of gets into another teaching, but it needs to be said here. You don't stop thoughts with thoughts. You stop negative thoughts with the power of the spoken word. I'm going to give you a quick entree here. Some quick insight into that. If right now I said the word Christmas tree, immediately in your mind, the idea of a Christmas tree came. You see the Christmas tree now, and I'm speaking it into existence. Into your mind, you see Christmas tree. However, in the name of Jesus, if I said amusement park, amusement park, thank you, Holy Spirit, the idea of Christmas tree is gone. Now, amusement park is there. Yes. Oh. I demonstrated something. When we speak a thing, it projects the idea into the atmosphere. And notice what Jesus does to stop the naysayer. Not only does he rebuke him and say, no, that's not what I'm about. I'm a winner. I'm healthy. Even by right now, there's somebody that you have been diagnosed with high blood pressure or sugar diabetes. Do you know that all that is a lie and a trick of the devil? That it, it, these prescription drugs that are being given to people are being given to make people rich. All you need to do now in the name of Jesus, I say that you begin to crave uh, healthy foods and you begin to win to the full to the overflow. Get thee behind me, Satan. For you are not mindful of the things of God, but of the things of man. He spoke the truth and overcame the negative thought. And he kept, and he kept moving on his journey, on his destiny, on his path. And he brought the vision of resurrection to pass. I declare that for you today. A how to. how to. How do you win in the face of naysayers? You do it by getting a vision of what God wants you to be. And you speak that vision out regardless of what others say. I declare that for you. Listen, 2017 is going to be awesome right here at the Overflow. Uh, we're going to help you win. I'm looking forward to being with you. Continue grace and peace. Listen, my time is far spent. I love you. See you next time. To the full, to the overflow.